The ColecoVision is Coleco Industries' second-generation home video game console that was released in August 1982. The ColecoVision offered a closer experience to more powerful arcade game systems compared to competitors such as the Atari 2600, along with the means to expand the system's basic hardware. The initial catalog of 12 games included Nintendo's Donkey Kong as the pack in cartridge, Sega's graphically impressive Zaxxon, and some lesser known arcade titles that found a larger audience on the console, such as Lady Bug, Cosmic Avenger, and Venture. Approximately 145 titles in total were published as ROM cartridges for the system between 1982 and 1984. The ColecoVision was discontinued in 1985 when Coleco withdrew from the video game market. History By Christmas of 1982, Coleco had sold more than 500,000 units, in part on the strength of its bundled game. The ColecoVision's main competitor was the still less advanced and less commercially successful Atari 5200 which had been based on the older Atari 400-800's computer. The ColecoVision was distributed by CBS Electronics outside of North America, and was branded the CBS ColecoVision. In Europe the console was released in July 1983, nearly one year after the North American release. Sales quickly passed 1 million in early 1983, before the video game crash of 1983. By the beginning of 1984, quarterly sales of the ColecoVision had dramatically decreased. Over the next 18 months, the Coleco company ramped down its video game division, ultimately withdrawing from the video game market by the end of the summer of 1985. The ColecoVision was officially discontinued by October 1985. Total sales of the ColecoVision are uncertain but were ultimately in excess of 2 million units, due to the console continuing to sell modestly up until its discontinuation the following year. The video game crash of 1983 has been cited as the main cause of the ColecoVision's being discontinued less than three years after its launch. In 1983, SpectraVideo announced the SV603 ColecoVision video game adapter for its SV318 computer. The company stated that the $70 product allowed users to enjoy the entire library of exciting ColecoVision video game cartridges. Hardware The main console unit consists of a 14 times 8 times 2 inch rectangular plastic case that houses the motherboard, with a cartridge slot on the right side and connectors for the external power supply and RF jack at the rear. The controllers connect into plugs in a recessed area on the top of the unit. The design of the controllers is similar to that of Mattel's Intellivision. The controller is rectangular and consists of a numeric keypad and a set of side buttons. In place of the circular control disc below the keypad, the Coleco controller has a short, 1.5-inch joystick. The keypad is designed to accept a thin plastic overlay that maps the keys for a particular game. Each ColecoVision console shipped with two controllers. All first-party cartridges and most third-party software titles feature a 12-second pause before presenting the game select screen. This delay results from an intentional loop in the console's BIOS to enable on-screen display of the ColecoVision brand. Companies like Parker Brothers, Activision, and Micro Fun bypassed this loop, which necessitated embedding portions of the BIOS outside the delay loop, further reducing storage available to actual game programming. Topic technical specifications CPU NEC version of Zilog Z80A at 3.58 MHz C chip U1 marked NEC D780C1 in circuit board picture video processor Texas Instruments TMS 9928A 40 pin dip located under the heat sink 256 times 192 pixel resolution 32 sprites one color on screen at once max 4 per horizontal line 15 colors plus plus transparent sound, Texas Instruments SN76489 APSG chip U20 on circuit board 3-tone generators 1 noise generator video RAM, 16 KB as 8 16K X 1-bit chips, marked ITT8344-4116 3N on circuit board RAM, 1 KB as 2 1K X 4-bit chips, marked UPD2114LC U3 and U4 on circuit 
Circuit Board ROM, 8 KB Texas Instruments TMS-4764 Mask ROM Chip U2, marked TMS-4764 NL on Circuit Board storage, ROM cartridge of 8, 16, 24 or 32 KB capacity. Expansion modules and accessories From its introduction, Coleco touted the ColecoVision's hardware expandability by highlighting the expansion module interface on the front of the unit. These hardware expansion modules and accessories were sold separately. Released Expansion module number 1 makes the ColecoVision compatible with the industry leading Atari 2600 with some exceptions. Functionally, this gave the ColecoVision the largest software library of any console of its day. The expansion module prompted legal action from Atari. Coleco and Atari settled out of court with Coleco becoming licensed under Atari's patents. The royalty-based license also applied to Coleco's Gemini game system, which was a clone of the 2600, but with combined joystick, paddle controllers. Expansion Module No. 2 is a driving controller steering wheel, gas pedal, that came packaged with a port of the arcade game Turbo. The gas pedal is merely a simple on-off switch, so many gamers use the second ColecoVision controller as a gear shift for more precise speed control. Although Coleco called the driving controller an expansion module, it actually plugs into the controller port, not the expansion module interface. The driving controller is also compatible with the game's destructor, bump and jump, pit stop, and the Dukes of Hazard. Expansion module number 3 converts the ColecoVision into a full-fledged computer known as the Atom, complete with keyboard, digital data pack DDP, cassette drives and printer. The roller controller is a trackball that came packaged with a conversion of the arcade game Slither, a centipede clone. The roller controller uses a special power connector that is not compatible with expansion module number 3 the Atom computer. Coleco mailed an adapter to owners of both units who complained. The other cartridge programmed to use the roller controller is Victory. A joystick mode switch on the roller controller allows it to be used with all cartridges including Wargames, Omega Race, and Atarisoft Centipede. The Super Action Controller set is a set of two joysticks each resembling a boxing glove that came packaged with the game Super Action Baseball. Each joystick has four action buttons, a 12-button numeric keypad, and a speed roller. The Super Action Controllers are also compatible with the game's Super Action Football, Rocky Super Action Boxing, and a port of the arcade game Front Line. Not released Expansion Module No. 3 was originally the Super Game Module. It was advertised for an August 1983 release but was ultimately cancelled and replaced with the Atom Computer expansion. The Super Game Module added a tape drive known as the Exitron Stringy Floppy with 128 KB capacity, and the additional RAM, said to be 30 KB, to load and execute programs from tape. Games could be distributed on tiny tapes, called wafers, and be much larger than the 16 KB or 32 KB ROM cartridges of the day. Super Donkey Kong, with all screens and animations, Super Donkey Kong Jr., and Super Smurf Rescue were demonstrated with the Super Game module. The Atom Computer expansion with its 256 KB tape drive and 64 KB RAM fulfilled the specifications promised by the Super Game module. Games Legacy During the creation of the Nintendo Entertainment System, the ColecoVision was a huge influence. Takao Sawano, chief manager of the project, brought a ColecoVision home to his family, who were impressed by the system's capability to produce smooth graphics at the time, which contrasted with the flickering and slowdown commonly seen on Atari 2600 games. 
Masayuki Waimura, head of Famicom development, stated that the ColecoVision set the bar that influenced how he would approach the creation of the Famicom. In 1986, Bit Corporation produced a ColecoVision clone called the Dina, which was sold in the United States by Telegames as the Telegames Personal Arcade. In 2009, IGN named the ColecoVision their 12th best video game console out of their list of 25, citing, its incredible accuracy in bringing current generation arcade hits home. In 1996, programmer Kevin Horton released the first homebrew game for the ColecoVision, a Tetris clone entitled Kevtris. In 1997, Telegames released Personal Arcade Vol. 1, a collection of ColecoVision games for Microsoft Windows, and a 1998 follow up, ColecoVision Hits Vol. 1. In 2014, 80 games began producing the ColecoVision Flashback console, which includes 60 games, but not the original pack in game, Donkey Kong. 